Well, hello again, everybody. It's Doris at DF Designs. And if Rob Smith is watching this, he's going to recognize it. Ha! <laughs> I am doing the one he did with the nuts. Now, excuse the mess. I just finished another one, and I just wanted to get right into this one because I got a lot to do this weekend. So anyway, um, I'm using a little bit of... Uh, I'm using a little bit of uh, Rust-Oleum um, Protective Enamel Gloss White and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little bit in between so the resin has something to run over okay because I don't want to use it all in there okay and then I've got um, Eye Candy's Okinawa Blue which is more of a to me it's more of a turquoise okay and it's so pretty let me tell you now I don't know what this is gonna do he did an acrylic pour now he had a bigger piece okay this is a eight inch across tile that I got from um, Lowe's and I taped the back completely I always do that with my t well I try to do that with my tiles I don't always do it with my coasters Okay, um, this color right here is Crater, let me spit this out right, Crater Lake Blue Metallic by Stone Coat. All the colors that I'm using are going to be listed in the description, and if I can remember where I got them from, which most of them I can, I'll put a link down below. I think the Eye Candy Okinawa Blue and the other one that I'm, the black that I'm using is uh, is um, oh it's by a place that does bath bombs um, Hyg I think and that's volcanic black and um, I think th uh, the those two I got off of Amazon and the Crater Lake Blue Metallic is from Stone Coat Countertops and guess what the Rust Oleum is from Walmart. <laughs> Or one of the hardware stores I go to. I don't remember. Okay. So I'm just going to do some pouring in the middle. And we're going to see what it does. Uh, it's not quite as dark as I wanted it. So I do have, <laughs> I do have some of uh, Just Resin's Black Diamond. I'm pretty sure this is the glitter. Uh, yes, this is the glitter. So I'm going to add some of the black diamond glitter to this. This stuff is so pretty. Uh, I just want to add some in there to give it some sparkle. Because sometimes the mica powders you buy from um, the places that do them for bath and soap and stuff, they don't have as much sparkle because they're not meant for resin. But they can be used in resin. That's the whole thing. Oh, that makes it deeper and that makes it prettier. Okay. Now, I have got three colors. I already got my white down. So, I'm just going to do black, Crater Lake, Okinawa, and a little white in the middle. And we'll just see how it goes. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of black. And see, as I pour more resin on there, it pushes out the other resin. And what I had seen Rob do was, he had, um, he had, um, um, picked up all the nuts. And yes, Rob, they are called nuts. It's not, that's not a word just for going crazy or for something that you eat. These are called nuts. Um, I'm, I'm, Rob, I'm just picking on you. you guys. Him and his wife are so cute together in their videos. They are absolutely adorable. And they're from another country, so they don't use the same words we use here. So, that's hence why they didn't know. Well, they didn't even know what um, the pliers... Well, they knew what the name was in their language, which I think is Dutch. But they didn't know what we called them. 
they didn't know what word we used. Okay, it's starting to push it out. It's starting to look real pretty. Okay, now. Now this white, because it's got the uh, oil-based Rust-Oleum in it, it's going to act like it's got, like an acrylic, like a, sil a paint with uh, silicone in it. And you might get cells for the paints that are, you know, the tints that are above it. So we will find out. And it's pushing it out more. This is looking pretty. I like it. Thank you, Rob, for this idea. You are a genius. So instead of Rob going instead of Rob going nuts, I'm going nuts today. And I love this. I'm gonna do this some more. I'm gonna do it on a bigger scale too. I just didn't really have any big uh, substrates prep so all I had to do earlier was just paint the tops of these uh, uh, tiles and let them dry while I was at dinner and then I came home and did this and let me see something ah, I gotta hurry because I gotta go catch somebody's live at 730 then I gotta catch another live at 8 o'clock I try to support my fellow artists out there um, I was supposed to do a shout out. It's uh and I can't remember now who it was, so I'm going to have to do it in the next video um because I didn't write it down like I should have. She told me earlier, I asked her for her information and she told me earlier. Uh, okay. Oops. Nope. Uh now I want Yeah, this goes next. I have to look at it to think for a minute. Okay, now, these, I don't know if these things are going to uh, clean up with the resin. I know when he did it with the acrylic paints, it did. But we will find out how it looks. Uh, I don't want to put too much more on there because it is really, really, really pushing it out. So... That's going to be my last color. I think I did three layers. Okay, now let me get something to put them in. Um, I'll just put them in a cup and then I'll put some alcohol on them. Okay, um, first I'm going to pop the air bubbles because you always, you do that with acrylics, you do it with resin. With resin, it also makes it a little bit more liquid too. I'm going to tell you something, Rob. This looks... I, I absolutely love this. You had such a genius idea to do this. Tell you one thing. I'm not going to try the feather in a drill. <laughs> you got to go watch that. That one is just... It's so cute. Okay. Now they want to stick, but they're going to come up anyway. You want to try not to drip anywhere. So basically... Come on. Basically, I'm tr keep trying to keep the cup as close as I can. And see, the resin will go in to fill in the holes. No need. There's not going to be... Well, I might have to drag it a little bit. Because I don't think there's any resin there. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's right, because I didn't pour the resin all over the whole base. I just poured it in between. So... I'll get I'll get those spots covered. There'll be no problem with that. Okay, there we go. Now, first off, it seems to be leaning a little bit, so let me try getting it back over there a little bit. Okay, I need my rag. Um I guess I could try just swirling the paint into those holes. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't look like it's messing up the design too much. Okay, now I do want to do something to break this up. So let me do this. Now watch. I drew the line. Okay, see? I 
and it, it pushed the resin out but it kind of broke went right back in okay now I'm going to try this one just pushing this in you always want to when you're doing something like this you always want to wipe off your stick with your hand or with a cloth I've been doing it with my glove um, because you don't want to um, contaminate the uh, paints with whatever might be on the stick okay you know what I can't see much more that I could really do to this I mean yeah it needs to go a little bit that way because it's not quite center but I'm gonna call this one I don't want to mess with it anymore I really like it so thank you very much Rob for coming up with this idea your ideas are great I'm still not gonna do the feather in a drill but I love this one with the nuts so we can call this episode Doris Goes Nuts. Okay? It doesn't matter. I'm I'm usually crazy at anyway as it is. So listen, I'm gonna call this one done. Um I don't see any dust in it I need to get out because I haven't really been working on it long. I'm gonna pick up some of the stuff on the ground for um coasters. Um so anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all my subscribers. I welcome all my new subscribers because I've gotten quite a few of those. I welcome all my new subscribers. Don't forget to hit the little bell for the notifications. Um, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate each and every one of you. And my saying is, I love the resin right out of you. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.